lovelies, how are you doing today? I just want to say hi. I want you to see my hair. It is so humid right now. And I have been so busy just getting settled in and everything. This is our pool. I really love it. And uh, so today I'll just show you that and I'll show you some more later. So uh, what I've been up to lately is I washed my hair one time in two and a half weeks. All I did was I did a simple under an hour wash day that I want to share with you. I've decided that I'm going to let it shrink up. It is so humid and I love this little style. Please comment below. Let me know what you think. I can get a little close so you can see. It's so adorable. I love it. It's just so cute that I just said, forget it. I'm not going to go crazy with stretching. This is what I did. I did my hair in the bands because I was doing that every night, right? I've been getting so tired lately that I went to bed and just put on my, um, what do you call it, my satin cap. And then I woke up the next day and it was like real short back here and long. I was like, wait a minute, maybe I'll just leave that. Then the next night I did it again. And then I was like, okay, let me saturate it and then start all over again. But it's like, I love this little look here. It looks like a haircut. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna be wearing this for a little bit because with this humidity in Atlanta, well, right now it's very humid. It's, in, it's August 20th, so it's very, very humid. And I think it's cute. You know, so I'm like, I'm not gonna kill myself trying to stretch it out if it's gonna turn out like this, which is cute anyway. So, this is my cute new cute hairstyle. So, anyway, I've already started looking for an agent here in Atlanta. I have already been um, going to different restaurants for the belly dancing and uh, just getting going. I'm just getting going here, and we're putting away stuff so I would videotape in the apartment, the well, the townhouse, but I'm not ready to do that yet because I just need to clean up a little bit anyway. I just wanted to say hi to y'all. I just wanted to, to just connect and let you know what I've been doing. I want to come on and get more specific with the details of how I've done an under an hour wash day. Okay? I used baking soda, um, no baking soda. I used the uh, Russell clay. I used apple cider vinegar. Um, I used my growth oil. And I used the leave in moisture conditioner from um, Shea Moisture. Cause that's what I'm using with the with wet when I wet my hair. I don't just wet it anymore. I add moisture in it, leave-in conditioner. Okay, and that's like a big thing right now, leave-in. Before this two weeks, I did a really good treatment with my honey mask, and I did my clay. Thank God I did that because I've been riding on that for over two weeks. But at least I cleaned my scalp because it was starting to feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to tell you how to do a wash day for under an hour in my next video. But at least you know that much. What you can do. This little tip is you can be taking a shower while you're doing it. Oh my goodness, yes, this was the tip I want to tell you. So this is what I did. Just one little tip. When I was in the shower for high porosity, what I did was I washed it. I got the germ, the stuff out of my hair. And when I wanted to put the conditioner in, I put in a cap. And I love hot water anyway. So I took a hot, hot, hot shower and I let my head go under the hot water with the cap on. And that gave it heat while I'm taking a shower. Just think about that. So you're like giving your hair heat treatment, like a steaming treatment while you're taking a shower. And then after I did that, then I rinsed it out with apple cider vinegar and water. Then I rinsed that out with cool water. And then I put the uh, my um, leave-in conditioner and my oil. I didn't I didn't have my shea, I couldn't get find my shea butter, so I just used my oil. And I really put a lot in the ends because I'm making up for the fact that I haven't been able to do my hair. Anyway, so that's what I did. That's one of the tips for under an hour. Um, doing a wash day under an hour. I hope that helped. I can get into more detail later, but I wanted to tell you that much that I'm changing up a little bit because I'm too busy. I can't get to my stuff, stuff's in boxes, but I'm glad because it taught me how to not put so much energy when I don't have to sometimes. So I'll see where this is going to fit in my journey, how I'm going to do the bigger, the longer ones that are like two and three hours, and when I'm going to do the shorter ones. Maybe I'll do, you know, alternate or whatever, you know? Anyway, I just wanted to say hi to you and I just thank you for all your positive, um, you know, prayers and support. I love you guys so much and I hope you're dancing with me. Go on to SoppyDanceFit.com and dance with me. I'm up there. You will love it. Pray for me as I get started over here. I'm going to let y'all know how things are going with the auditions and everything I do over here. And uh, comment below if you have any questions about stuff. All right? All right. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Keep Jesus a part of your journey. All right? Because this is the thing. He could send you a curveball and you'll end up going in a different direction than you thought you were going. And that's what's happening with me. And I'm each time I'm pleased. I'm so pleased when he does it. So just trust him. 
Um, my husband and I just realized we've been going to a new church. I'm so excited about it. I'll tell you about that next time. And um, I guess I can say it. It's, uh, you know, well, anyway, we found a wonderful church that we love. And basically spent time with the Lord is what we got. And listen to him. You don't want him to have to sit you down to listen. Just do it. Do it anyway. Do it um, when things are going well and when things aren't going well. All right? That's my message today. Well, God bless you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.